is this a little confusing? All right. As I think everyone can see on the recording, we have a very special guest this week. We have Nicholas Spurgis. Hello. Out of Boston, Mass. Mm hmm. And you have a new album. It was released on the 21st, if I remember correctly. Yeah, about a week ago. Yeah, so lots of good stuff on there. Was it 13 tracks? Mm -hmm. The the scariest number. Yeah. All right. So, as we have been doing recently, we have been playing a track of the week. And that is how I convinced our man Nicholas to join us. He is going to introduce our track of the week, which is convincing. Yes, yes. <laughs> more, more, uh, more, uh, like, you know, it wasn't so much the convincing, but it was the, hey, here are all the logistics. <laughs> I have to, mm-hmm. have to always work through different time zones and such. But uh, this is a, uh, a premiere of sorts, even though it says there's a bunch of views. So, but it was a delisted video until just now, yeah. the time of recording. So, it just made it public. Yeah. Why don't you tell us about the track we're about to hear? Uh, this is uh, called uh, "Wolfman's Brain Is Still Alive." It's about uh, it's that's the title describes it. It's about um, if the uh, the brain of uh, the wolfman was uh, kept alive Sweet. in like a jar. <laughs>
Excellent. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I, I would say that the uh, the track the album has a lot of um, I'm gonna say like non-traditional uh sort of halloween tracks you know they're all they're all sort of like uh well like just the names of the tracks sort of give them give it away. yeah <laughs> yeah so i love that i love that so, thank you um i i was <laughs> i don't know if people if people watch the little bubbles down there while the video is playing they might see me that was i was uh gesticulating at my computer here um i can't i can't get twitter to show up to see uh the track that's been the um the uh track of the week for rhino's show for like three or mm -hmm. four weeks straight and remember it was one of the singles before the album came out and i remember oh, that grave yeah. was part of the name <laughs> past I that think it, i think grave plot there's two yes, uh there's two grave songs yeah yeah he's playing grave yeah because I, I was gonna play that track and then there, there wasn't a video for it so um but yeah so definitely if you're not familiar with uh with rhino's show excellent uh top 10 every friday night um over there so uh if you don't know where to find that just uh you know drop a comment uh down there i'm supposed to play i think that's the thing you just do drop a comment uh and yeah I'll, I'll shoot the link in there um if i remember no promises but if i remember <laughs> i'll try to drop a link in the description so you guys can find mm. um rhino show and a link to the album uh, i'll do that as well so um yeah, so I don't, did you, uh, Nicholas, did you watch the, um, I sent you a link to one of our previous shows. Uh, did you watch that? Because if you didn't, I'm going to, I'm going to give a little, uh, you know, a little like, here's how things work for both you and the viewers. Uh, I watched some of it, but not the okay. whole thing. So give me a yeah. little, give me the, give me the spiel. Yeah, you probably, you probably saw all you needed to, to see, but what we do every, <laughs> well, it's Sunday morning for all of us here on today's show in the US. Uh, we usually have a couple of guys in Japan that are with us and a guy in Canada. I'm not sure where they're at this week. They might've told me last week, but I don't remember. Um, and we you, uh, so right now we're in what would be called summertime. We call it daylight mm -hmm. savings time here in the US, which is a really dumb name. We're not saving any daylight. Daylight stays the same regardless of how you shift the time. Uh, but in any case, we shift in the U.S. because um, we have a guy in Kazakhstan sometimes um, that shows up too, named Victor. Um, mm -hmm. In Kazakhstan and Japan, neither one of them do daylight savings time or winter summer time mm -hmm. or anything like that. So it's 10 a.m. for me. So for both of you guys uh, on the East Coast, it's 11 a.m. And next week, or is it in two weeks? Very soon we will be doing this an hour earlier. So that's mm. sort of the, if you want to, if you want to come <laughs> now is the point of transition in, on the calendar. So just pay attention. Um, if you're not in the U S if you're in the U S it's easy, just show up at nine o'clock when the time changes. But if you're not, then you got to kind of figure it out. Um, so we just play tracks. Um, you know, I try to pick things with like cool videos um sometimes you know there's just uh, some awesome music and we just play um you know stuff with album art um you know there, there's a lot it's easy to find stuff with album art you know um it's hard yeah. to find videos so um you know that's one of the reasons why i try to go out of my way to find videos in case people you know they really like the video segments but we just sort of like you know go around robin in the loop and then uh mm -hmm. we'll talk about tracks and um yeah, it's, it's pretty simple, um, really. So, and um, one thing I guess that's, uh, you know, people are looking back at our um, track list from previous episodes. Uh, our rule is basically that the, the musician needs to be releasing stuff out of Creative Commons. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes people, they might have been on a label, um, you know, they might have like a cover album. I, I stay away from the cover songs because it's pretty obvious those songs are not Creative Commons unless yeah. like, they're doing yeah. you know covers of Creative Commons. But we, we basically are tr not trying to be like super nitpicky about the license, but we do want people to like at least attempt. And, and, and the reason for that is YouTube is does a really poor job of giving music licenses 
you know, like YouTube has yeah. one license, license, it's CCBY. If your music is anything else, then it's going to be really confusing for people to try to figure out your license. So if you find something on Bandcamp, find something on FMA, find something on Jamindo, it's Creative Commons. We're just kind of, for the purposes of the show, assuming that the entire catalog is Creative Commons. Um, so just just so, you know, there's no bickering about the licenses and stuff. Like <laughs> we try to keep it chill. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so welcome Long John. What's up, Long John? What up? Can you hear me? We yep. can. Yes. You know if uh, can't hear me. Cheese or Patsy are gonna be uh, no. coming. Okay, there. Fair enough. I don't know if that was a no that you don't know or a no they're not coming. <laughs> but frankly, it doesn't matter. <laughs> there's no more information uh, uh, to be. Patsy was saying that there's a chance. Oh, sorry uh yeah Patsy was saying there's a good chance he might not be here <laughs> okay. yeah yeah fair enough so oh, we've just got, got we just went I'm, I apologize I got bad reception I'm sorry oh yeah no problem um Donnie um do you have a track yes Doug I will Sweet. play I will play the next track keep a theme a little dark for Halloween and have fun at the same time. This is a new, I believe it was this week, but it was definitely within the last two weeks. Fresh off the press. There you go. Oh, geez.
Yes. <laughs> that was fun. It kind of looked like a real video, but also like um, it had a little bit of like karaoke video quality, but <laughs> not in a bad way. Yeah. Not in a bad way. Like it looked like kind of like like a mix of like a 90s like Rammstein video and with a little bit of karaoke video, but yes. in a good way. Yes. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love the song. I love the video. Good stuff, man. Yeah. I, I wonder if the dog would make more sense if I uh, if I like understood the lyrics. Well, they're no. singing about a dog. At, well, I, I, I don't know Spanish that well, but I, I picked out he was saying something about dogs. Okay. Someone might correct me, but I think he said Los Perros. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I don't know what any of the words in the, well, I know what lie is, but like, I'd have to look up all the like the yeah. words in the title and stuff. So. I picked out a Cesar <laughs> I was like, in there somewhere, too. Yeah, I was like, dog is not in the title. That I've got. No. <laughs> so, that's that. <laughs> um, yeah, it's deeper in the story there. Yeah. All right, Long John, do you have anything for us this morning? Uh, yeah, I got a Halloween-ish type of video here. Ah. So let's see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it it it, it qualifies, I think. Uh, oh, where am I here? Why did Anything that... with enough reverb is scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, there it is. Yes. Uh, well, it's up now. Okay. Oh, come on. Um, okay. Highest in production qualities, Nicholas. <laughs> oh, this is brutal. Uh, All right. Doug, Doug, I think you're going to have to come back to me. I'm, I'm uh, coming no, up blank here. Yeah, no so, problem. No problem. I got plenty. Uh, Nicholas, I didn't go yes. to you uh, next uh, just to uh, give you some time to figure out the cadence. Do you have anything you want to share? Uh, uh, well, I have to look. Like, uh, not of my own. I can share it. It could be, yeah. Own, but... You're allowed oh. to. You can, pl you can play another one of your tracks if you want. No wrong. Oh, that's that's the easiest way to do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's stuff that... Um, Mm. I don't think you made any video. I have to check. I'm going to check uh, something has a video, but I could also okay. do my own stuff. Um, well, how, how about this? How about I play Rescue Me by a marionette while you check and see if you do that? Has I'll do video. that. All right. Let's <laughs> do that.
Yeah, I, I love how that, that song doesn't sound anything like a Halloween yeah. track, and they put that video <laughs> together. Like, I, I like... <laughs> <laughs> and it, I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. So so this uh, this album came out in October. I don't know if that, if that um, you know, if the album comes out in February, is that the video they make for it? I don't know the answer to that, but... <laughs> 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 they, they, those guys uh they're out of vegas they have a they have a great back catalog so definitely check that out um that's that's say one of their like popular songs like uh they're, they're, I, I often when i listen to them i think this is what that um coheed and cambria would sound like if michael jackson was the front man that's like every time I listen to their album, that's what I think. So, so that, that was not as rocky as some of their stuff is. But. Okay. I did some research into, uh, into video here and I, you know, uh, mute city, which is the electronic project that my, uh, uh Mike Gintz does. He's a musical yeah. partner of mine. Um, yesterday, just yesterday, he did a live set, um, at the new England synth fest. And I knew that had gone up on YouTube, but their website's down right now. So I don't know if it's like, you know, I, I it probably is like an, a 45 minute set or something. You're not going to play that, but I would like to tell everybody to check it out. Um, so on, yeah, what we do on those um, <clears throat> often mm -hmm. is we just play like the first five minutes. Well, if I could find that, I would, I would uh, put it, but it's like the, the link I have, it isn't working right now. It should be uh, NE, NE synthfest.org, but it's not loading up for me. So maybe maybe next week or something you could someone could play that but that's uh if people want to check that out that is there but you can play one of my tracks if you want i have plenty of those oh yeah go for it i, mean, <laughs> uh... I don't know can you uh doug can you play it for me because i don't know uh, yeah. what i'm doing what, what do you what do you want me to play? uh what do i have music videos for i have um Let me just do you see want me to play one of the cool. ones off the new album or one of the older ones? Why don't you do one of the ones off the new album? Because okay. that's that's what I'm here for. Can you do um, do uh, Ghost Love? And I can tell you a little bit about this song in the video. Um, okay. The uh, song features um, uh, a violinist uh, named uh, Mickey Lee Smith who played on this and um, a piano player named Karina Fan. And for the video, I needed, I wanted to put it together a video really fast and I, I didn't have much time. So I went to the local fancy cemetery, shot some background stuff, came home and cut out some ghosts out of paper, <laughs> put them on my couch and did the camera like this, superimpose them to make ghosts floating around the cemetery, awesome. yeah. made this video uh, and you know, it turned out as well as you can expect with that kind of special effects, but I think <laughs> I think it has a certain something. Yeah, you know, I don't think we ever said maybe maybe you did. I never said the name of the new album. Oh, so that's, I'm gonna uh, say it right now. Yeah, yeah. It. all right. This is Ghost Love from All Night Midnight Monster Party. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I did. I, awesome. I did. Thank you. I did some more research during that song, and I found that the link I had for that synth fest was completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> it should be uh, the. This is all written out. One volt per octave. Dot com. O n e v o l t p e r octave. Dot com. Uh, and that has a link to the YouTube channel. Unfortunately, the actual. Uh, video of the stream is just one six hour thing. So uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly where that one starts, but uh, that's that was just yesterday. So if you want to get six hours of um, of synth stuff, that's that's there. Awesome. awesome. Now on that, the last track that we listened to, you mentioned a lot of collaborators. Are they in Boston with you or are they, is that over the internet or um, how are you collaborating? Some of well, there's a guy named Brian Church that I do a lot of collaboration with. He played bass on that, and he did some backup vocals. He's nearby Boston, so we do that in person. Um, but there's also um, a couple people in Canada, in uh, who played on that, who we were collaborating online. So I would send them the tracks and the music, and you know some directions, and they'd record themselves, send stuff back. Um, Where are they located in Canada exactly? Oh, I think I'm trying. I know. Well, roughly. <laughs> well, it's the, I, the, I, I'm trying to figure. They're located in multiple places. So I think one of them, I can't remember if she lives in Calgary and goes to school in Toronto or okay. vice versa. I think that's it. I think it's, I think they're in school in Toronto or Toronto, but I think that, uh, I'm not sure where I'm not sure where she was when we were actually working on it because it right. was um, a little earlier in like pandemic rules. So I don't know if they were actually uh, out and about. Um, so it was like different sides of Canada, but I, I think it may have been Toronto. Okay, and those that live near you, when you're tracking that, were they? Are you tracking that at home or is that in the studio? Because it sounds super crisp and clear. Like I'm, it sounds like a studio to me. Like oh, thank you. A lot of that's just really cleaned up. Or... A lot of that's just technique. I think uh, the stuff that I'm tracking for um, with Brian, we do. It's not really a studio, but we go to like uh, an office space after hours. So cool. it's extremely quiet, yeah. big area. And then a lot of my stuff I'm tracking at home, but um, uh, like the vocals, but the guitar is uh, is is direct, and um, okay. the the yeah the drums are actually just uh, MIDI drums. So okay, if they sound and, crisp and clear, that's why. Yeah, and that might be a part of the mix too. So what about the mix? Do you mix it yourself? Do you go to a studio? Do you mix it at home, or do you send it to an engineer? What's your mix down deal? I, I mix myself, but I have a okay. um, a guy who masters for me, so ah, nice. my, my, I don't have the last ears on it. Um, right. Yeah. So also, it's good to have a second yeah. pair of ears. Yeah, I send the I send the mixes out <laughs> to a, a handful of people for um, feedback, and I don't. Okay. Um, there's some people that I will I won't let them hear anything until late in the process because I don't want them to uh have be like any preconceived notions about how it's supposed to sound so right. they can get the mix like right before the end and they can say oh you need to turn this up or turn this down or whatever you can hear it with fresh ears yeah mm -hmm. yeah excellent and then have you been working on this all year leading up to october because it's october what, like themed it seems to be uh yeah the plan was uh i had wanted to do this kind of thing for a while and then last year I put out an EP, I guess, in about November, and I immediately I had some songs for this already written, but then I immediately started writing a ton of demos. I ended up with about 30 demos, and then I had me and some other people went through them, picked which ones were best, and um, you know focused on those ones to record. And it's not um, explicitly Halloween themed; like it doesn't say Halloween anywhere on the album, and none of yeah. the tracks mention it. But I knew I wanted to put it out around now just to get that Halloween boost. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you're down with monsters in January, then go yeah. for it. You know? Yeah, well, no, I, like after this, I I do yeah. have some yeah. stuff planned that I want to do after because, I mean, people could listen to, you know, monster music and people watch horror movies all year, stuff yeah. like that. But uh, I thought this would be the best time to release it for, you know, holiday synergy or whatever. It's perfect, man. Love it. 
Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Man, what, as I, as I was listening to that track, I uh, I really started thinking of uh, how much I'd like to hear that song in the hands of like a young Rolling Stones or something like that. You know, <laughs> like it just had that like, yeah, like it just had yeah. that creepy, you, you know, like just mm -hmm. a, like a little bit sinister. Yeah, it was. I I I totally enjoyed it. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, that one's like later on the album, so I wanted to play that one because people you know they might not necessarily get to hear it if they just uh you know poke around the first few tracks right. awesome and i love the ghost technique the home film ghost oh thing. yeah thank you that uh, is... nowadays it's i love it there's so many layers of videos you have a full-on video you have album cover art and then you have all these levels in between like i think that you're a perfect example of somewhere in between you know like a visualizer there's like all these new names for new styles of videos now. Visualizer. Yeah, there's like the album cover, visualizer, <laughs> lyrics. I That's don't know what I'm doing with video, so I was figuring it all out as I went. But um, some people, <clears throat> some people do travel fun. log, like uh, shoot out the window when they're riding, rolling around on the train or whatever. But yeah, I I like that. It's it's great. You never. I like that. There's more options these days um, for mm -hmm. musicians to use, and I, I've been using Rotor. I don't know if you try that played around with rotor yet but um you can upload no. your own clips to rotor and then they have algorithmic like um oh that's cool effects or whatever and then it, depending on your song you can go with mellow or high you know if you're, if you're like dance music there's like lots of flashes and stuff but they have their own clips you can import your own clips and pictures is great so i highly recommend checking it out um for videos as well just and you don't have to pay for anything until you have mm, a video that you good. already made <laughs> that you like. Then you only pay for it when you download it to, to keep it. So you can play around there on there and make 50 videos for free and, you know, mm -hmm. and then just buy the ones you want. So in this reasonable price. But anyway, I recommend checking it out if you haven't oh. already. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to mention a couple of things that we've kind of touched upon. So you mentioned you released oh. the, uh, the EP last year. Um, mm -hmm. and that was the diamond door. Mm -hmm. Um, but you also released a, uh, another holiday themed track, the crystal Christmas sky. Oh, yes, so I did. Not, uh, yeah. yeah. So, um, people can check that one out as well. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is you mentioned Mike, uh, but we didn't mention the name of your band with Mike. And that's oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. And then um, I have to say, I, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to be, you know, Nicholas Burgess hipster or anything, but my <laughs> my I, my favorite be the first one <laughs> of, of yours is is still uh, Space Crackers. Oh, job. That you. that is an absolute masterpiece. Um, thank you. Yeah, I love that. So uh, what is that? I've been, like 15 years old now or something like it's, uh, it's been, Yeah, about that. I've been thinking about yeah. doing another uh, rock opera at some point. Yeah but it's kind of like a huge writing task so i have to set aside some <laughs> yeah. time yeah 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 and then to get everybody involved you know to have the different characters yeah it's it's a task and you guys knocked it out of the park with space crackers thank you um all right uh hey. long john oh go ahead Bye. um what was the name of the band again whenever you said yeah, the yeah. name it got blocked out so the audience couldn't hear it hex map it's like uh h e x Okay. M -A -P. that's the current band that it's a duo and then um the band that i was that did the rock opera um mm -hmm. that's claw job is the name of that band mm -hmm. are they also creative commons or is yeah um, oh okay it's great. All creative commons cool yeah and mike's uh mike's stuff mute city is uh maybe talking about that's all creative commons too so. awesome yeah. um long john you were having some technical difficulties. Yeah, earlier, right. Long John's oh, out. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got her all figured. I think. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Co copy and paste problems. You know. <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, did I freeze or did Long John freeze? He may not have gotten his technical difficulties uh -oh. fixed. Uh oh. He froze. He froze. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is the what this is the show where he gets a, the video in at the last three minutes of the show. <laughs> oh, maybe he's playing it. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, yeah. Did it go? Oh my god.
Well, it's the reprise. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see more of those guys in the background, the weird freaky mask guys. Hey. Yeah. Hey. I apologize if that was all glitching out. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know what was going on there. No, I know. I just uh, right there for a second it started replaying, but it's all good. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, did, it froze for me, so I didn't know when to stop it. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was like, uh, maybe about now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the the uh, those, those the slow mellow beat and the uh, the creepy dudes in the background mm -hmm. kind of kind of similar to a lot of the other videos today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, uh, we probably got time for at least two more. Um, Donnie, you got anything for us? Yes. Infecticide is back. Now they have a track that was already released, but they have a brand new video for it that just came out. So they went back into the archive and updated it um, with a brand new video. So let's check that out. As everyone who's a regular knows, I like the Heard It Records a lot, and I really like um, Infecticide on that label. So once again, <laughs> once again, um, Donnie's playing some Infecticide.
Excellent job, guys. That was a great video. <laughs> Very appropriate. Yes. 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 Yeah. All right. That was awesome. I'm going to let uh, let Donnie and I don't know if this is going to be our last track or not, but um, Nick and I were discussing which uh, which track to play here. Um, and so Grave Plot has been like the number one track and um, over on Rhino's thing. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, Nicholas just made the the video available for that video but it's it's pretty much just lyrics but it is yeah there. yeah <laughs> and then there's the the horror of the invisible man which mm -hmm. uh nicholas says is a better video it's still yeah it's still a lyric video but i knew a little bit more what i was doing i was doing like two a week so my learning curve was was exponential very on these nice. very nice yeah. so donnie long john i mean hell we could play both yeah why don't we just play both? You could. Oh, pretty sure. Yeah. 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 You know what? I'm. I, yeah. Yep. Executive decision. We're gonna play right. both. You're we're gonna, we're gonna start us. <laughs> we're gonna start us off with uh, horror of the. I mean, it's your it's your pick, and then it's my pick after that. Even if we're following the rules, so let's just do it. Um, <laughs> horror of the Invisible Man is what we're gonna All play right. first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Yes. Got there the first second that I was the one that played that. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, that ending is because the uh, tracks kind of transition into each other. So there's uh, if you're listening as the album goes, it it makes a little more sense. I love I I love the ending. I love how it just went left field on the ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like having little little bits of transition material in there to keep things different. Yeah, it's great. Since sounds are incredible you. too. Oh, thank you. you yeah, I think I I, I was I think I was crying a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought it made it, it made some sense. I mean, if you can't see the person because they're invisible, yeah. then you don't know if they're crying. So yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, some of the synths I don't remember what those particular ones are, but I used a lot of um, the Prodigy. I didn't use a real one, but like a. a a synthesized you know a uh, virtual one which i believe is like that same synth that like john carpenter would use a lot okay on his wow. movie soundtracks nice yeah they sound great man they really sound good in that track thank you yeah all right what do we think is this gonna be our last track yeah yeah this all is right. a, it's a it's a nice short one yeah so and it has a it has a big uh sax solo at the end which is from uh another collaborator a guy named steph haynes who's also in canada hmm. it sounds like i outsourced a lot of this work to canadians but it just happened that way <laughs> long john you'll have to talk to your union <laughs> i thought we said this but long john's in bc so oh yeah yeah, I'm stimulating the economy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice. All right. This is great plot of an all night midnight monster party. Oh, shit.
So I think the moral of today's show is that if you're a musician and you release a new album and you come on the show, we're probably going to play you know, <laughs> a third of the album. So, you know, <laughs> find some time on Sunday morning <laughs> and show up. And I really appreciate uh, great you coming. Oh, always welcome. It's okay. always, you know, you, you get the link, you show up, you play some tracks. I want to say, I think I have um, on my Bandcamp page, which is nicholasburgess.bandcamp.com. Uh, I just looked in my the back end here, and of all these yeah. coupons. Um, so if anybody wants to get anything, you could use the code uh, too scary T O O scary, like something is too scary. If you use the code too scary, that's ten percent off, and that'll work on anything. Nice. So anybody nice. who's watching this, if you want to get it, feel free to use that. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, anytime, um, you know, obviously I'll, I'll, I'll see when something else is coming out. So I'll have to remember to uh, invite you back on when that happens. So, um, yeah, anything else anybody want to say before I uh, press the stop sharing button here? Nope. Thanks for coming on. Nah, I just want to say it was great. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yeah, thanks and thanks for yeah, the music. Yeah, enjoyed too, it, man. man. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No problem. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Yes. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween everybody.